Claris is pleased to announce the release of the developer preview of Claris Studio, which is the future of the Claris platform and built leveraging the latest web technology. This initial release that's available now lets you create responsive web forms where you can collect data from external sources. During this video, I will show you how to use Claris Studio and create a way for others to sign up for an upcoming event using a public facing web page. People can sign up for this event, enter their contact information, and feed that data into an existing Claris FileMaker custom app. All of this could be done in FileMaker Pro, but it would be challenging. But that's behind us now, and setup is a breeze using Claris Studio. Let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is. First, I need to log into Claris Studio using my Claris Studio ID. Then I presented with the Claris Studio console. As you can see, I'm a team manager. This means I can manage the other users in the company, such as adding or removing team members or changing the roles of existing members. Perhaps I want to invite other users to use Claris Studio because I want them to help me create forms. Or maybe I need to create team members so that they can log into Claris Pro. Both of these are valid tasks for a team manager. Once logged in, I can start to create a form. By selecting the Forms tab, all of the forms are displayed. These are the forms other team managers and I have created already. I can either select a form and modify it or there's a button to create a new form. I'm gonna click that button. Now, when I select the Add a Workflow button, Claris Studio creates a registration and confirmation page for me automatically. In the future, when officially released, Claris Studio will ship with different form templates for you to choose from. But for now, it defaults to creating pages commonly used for events. To create additional pages, Click the plus button. As you can see, Claris Studio automatically adds previous and next buttons to help users navigate the forms when I add more pages. And it's easy to rename a form by clicking on the form's name and keying in whatever you want to call it. At my event, everyone's going to receive a cool t-shirt. Because after all, who doesn't love t-shirts? So on this form, I can collect t-shirt details. And I'm gonna give this form a new name, something like Amazing T-Shirts. Okay, with this form renamed, I will move on and customize them. I'm gonna start by modifying the registration page. Claris Studio has already pre-populated this form with appropriate fields and objects for event management, but I can customize this form even more. To customize an object in Claris Studio, Click the corresponding gear icon to open up settings for that object. Starting with the header, I can allow it to stay in place as I scroll the page, and the header opacity and color can also change. Notice that when I change the color of the header, Claris Studio also changes the color of the navigation buttons that were automatically created. I can even use an image as part of the header if I want. This one looks nice. And there's the option to add a logo, and I can configure whether certain text blocks show up or not. The header is looking good, so I'll add and configure the fields that will display on my registration form. In Claris Studio, it's easy to add more fields to a form by using the Add Object button. I want to capture additional information from people registering for my upcoming event. The attendee's phone number seems like a good piece of information to have on hand, so let's click and drag the new field where it should go. And look what happens. Claris Studio moves the existing objects out of the way and resizes them appropriately to make room for my new form field. Now, since my event has multiple sessions, adding a drop-down list to the form field lets everyone select the session they want to attend. Not only can I customize the label for this object, but in the case of a drop-down list, I can quickly add and edit the displayed values. I can also configure my forms to make some fields required by clicking the corresponding settings icon and checking the required box. 
If all the fields are required for a form, come up here and toggle all fields objects on and off quickly. This page looks good, so I will move on to the next page in my flow. This form is where I want to capture t-shirt information. As you can see, it's a cinch to switch between the forms by using these controls here. Just like the last form, I can customize this one as well. For example, I can change the form's title by clicking on it and keying in the new name. I can also add and resize images by dragging them directly onto the page. If I find that I'm adding many objects to a form, I can tear off the Add Objects pane and pin it so that it remains open. Alternately, I can click on the form and add objects inline if needed. OK, I need to think about some next steps. I need the addresses of those who register for my event to send additional information to them after they register. I can use the address object to get all of that information at once. And I can add a text block, if I need to, to explain the information I want to capture. OK, on to the amazing t-shirts. I need to find out the t-shirt size for everyone registering. And a multiple choice object seems like a perfect tool to accomplish this task. Much like the drop-down list I added earlier, I can configure what items are displayed and selectable by people completing this form. I believe all fields are in place for the event details I need to capture, so I will move on to the confirmation page. Maybe I don't want to display the header at all. Instead, let me provide a message saying the registration was successful. Remember that objects added to a form can also easily be removed. After these quick edits, the registration page is ready to go. And at any time, I can preview what things will look like by clicking the Preview button and walking through my workflow to make sure it's set up correctly. Note that nothing saves if I click Submit while in preview mode, but the fields marked as required are displayed. While in preview, I can also see how my form will look when used on different devices by using this pull-down menu. Data isn't really saved in preview mode, so if I want to try out my workflow in real time, I can share my forms with someone else by using the Share button. This creates a web link for testing out forms or sharing them with others. When I add some information and switch back to Clara Studio, I can click the Data button to see the information I entered. The Data view also allows me to filter, group, and sort the collected data. In addition, Data can be added directly by clicking the Row button and entering the necessary information. When my workflow is ready to go, I can integrate it with my FileMaker app using Claris Pro. Claris Pro is based on FileMaker Pro and allows accessing and integrating data from Claris Studio. When launching Claris Pro, I first need to log in using my Claris Studio ID. And, since I'm also a FileMaker Cloud user, I need to log in using my Claris ID to be able to see my apps hosted in the cloud. OK, now that I'm logged in, I have access to all the tables that I've created in Claris Studio. If I want to start from scratch and create a new app, all the tables created in Claris Studio will automatically be brought over. But, more likely, I want to integrate the data captured using Clara Studio into an app that I already have. In this case, I open my existing app in Clara Studio and navigate to the Manage Database dialog box. Then I select the Relationships tab. Here, I can add a new table to my app's relationships graph by choosing Clara Studio from the list of data sources on the specified table dialog box. Once I choose a table, it's automatically added to my relationships graph. Remember, a table is a collection of data about a subject, such as customers, or in this case, a list of people and their captured information who are registered for my event. I can use this table like any other external SQL source table in my app, including using this table to create a relationship and displaying related data.
And that's it. I've created a web form, captured data from it, and displayed that data in an existing app in just a few minutes. Clara Studio is another business tool to make your business life easier. As functionality evolves, we will continuously release updates to the Clara Studio Developer Preview. In the upcoming months, you'll be able to build a scalable web-based solution that seamlessly integrates with your existing Claris FileMaker solutions and delivers enhanced customer experiences. To find out more, check out the Claris Studio FAQ on our website. And please give us your feedback on Claris Studio as our team delivers on new features and we drive towards an official release.